Would everyone please rise and remain standing for the posting of the colors, the singing of the national anthem by probationary troopers Kevin King and Teresa Bowling, and the invocation by Rabbi Weiss. Officer, color guard, attention. Color guard, post the colors. Officer, please have colors. Right. For March. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fire or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave or the Good morning, let us be in prayer. Almighty God, we gather in front of your throne of glory and your holy presence, thanking you for bringing us here safely today to honor those who have given the ultimate price for our Indiana State Police, the state of Indiana, the United States of America. We ask your special blessings upon them who've served so honorably and bravely. We ask your support for their family and friends and community who gather here and the entire department of the Indiana State Police who served together to make this a better state and a better country. We ask your special blessings upon our state and our country. We ask that you strengthen us as we stand up for your principles of liberty and freedom of justice, law and order. And we ask that you continue to watch over us during this service as we pray to you and over all the time that we serve in front of you and that we are your children and you love us all in a very special way. So we give you the honor and the glory, O God, as we pray together in your holy name and we say together, amen. amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Welcome to the General Headquarters Memorial Service. I am Sergeant Todd Harless, the Protocol Officer for the Indiana State Police, and on behalf of Superintendent Carter and the rest of the primary staff, we would like to recognize and welcome survivors, distinguished guests, retirees, and friends who are with us today. Thank you for joining us as we honor our fallen heroes. At this time, we will, we will perform a wreath laying ceremony to honor our fallen heroes. Superintendent Carter and Colonel French will be assisted by Master Trooper Kevin Getz.
Trooper Eugene Teague, Indianapolis, Indiana, headquarters. Appointed June 1, 1933, killed December 20, 1933, in Paris, Illinois, during the capture of members of the Dillinger Gang. Trooper Paul V. Miniman, Logansport, Indiana, Lafayette Post. Appointed September 1, 1935, killed May 27, 1937, by gunshot while attempting to capture members of the Brady Gang. Trooper William R. Dixon, South Bend, Indiana, Dunes Park Post. Appointed September 1, 1935, killed June 28, 1938, by gunshot while attempting to apprehend members of the Easton Gang. Trooper George A. Forster, Seymour, Indiana, Seymour Post. Appointed September 1, 1938, died May 17, 1941, in a traffic accident near Vernon, Indiana. Trooper Richard F. England, Columbia City, Indiana, Ligonier Post. Appointed January 20, 1936, died April 22, 1942, of injuries received in a traffic accident near Kimmel, Indiana. Trooper Herbert W. Smith, Shelbyville, Indiana, Connorsville Post. Appointed November 2, 1942, killed December 5, 1946, near Shelbyville, Indiana, when fired upon by a traffic violator. Trooper Robert E. Clevenger, Centerville, Indiana, Connorsville Post. Appointed September 1, 1952, died September 8, 1953, in a traffic crash while pursuing a violator. Sergeant Hubert E. Rausch, Indianapolis, Indiana, headquarters. Appointed July 14, 1941, died January 26, 1955, in an automobile crash near Indianapolis. Trooper Earl L. Brown, Columbus, Indiana, Seymour Post. Appointed October 16, 1940, killed August 31, 1955, while searching a suspect. Sergeant John R. Miller, Lafayette, Indiana, Lafayette Post. Appointed September 1, 1941, died September 5, 1955, in an airplane crash while on Labor Day patrol. Trooper Donald R. Turner, Auburn, Indiana, Ligonier Post. Appointed November 1, 1946, died January 28, 1956, from injuries sustained while he was struck by a passing vehicle as he assisted a wrecker operator pulling a vehicle from a ditch. For Sergeant Marvin E. Waltz, New Albany, Indiana, Charlestown Post. Appointed September 1, 1937, <clears throat> killed March 18, 1957, by gunshot wounds inflicted by a suspected bank robber. Trooper William R. Kellums, Indianapolis, Indiana, Charlestown Post. Appointed November 15, 1956, killed September 30, 1957, by gunshot wounds inflicted by fugitives wanted for murder. Trooper John H. Powell, Otterbein, Indiana, Lafayette Post. Appointed December 1, 1954, died February 27, 1959, while he was struck by an oncoming vehicle placed in an electronic timing device on the roadway. Trooper Robert J. Garrison, Mount Pillar, Indiana, Red Key Post. Appointed October 1, 1955, died December 14, 1959, instantly of head injury sustained in an automobile crash on State Road 67. Trooper Robert C. Gillespie, Bedford, Indiana, Seymour Post. Appointed September 1, 1950, died June 8, 1962, of injuries sustained in a traffic crash near Mitchell, Indiana. Trooper William F. Kaiser, Tell City, Indiana, Charlestown Post. Appointed Operations Clerk, October 16, 1957. Appointed as a trooper, March 16, 1958. Killed March 9, 1965, by gunshot while investigating a suspicious person near Ramsey, Indiana. Trooper Oscar E. Mills, Hobart, Indiana, Lafayette Post. Appointed September 16, 1955, died April 12, 1966, as results of injuries sustained in an automobile crash while traveling west on State Road 18 at County Road 350 in Carroll County. Trooper William R. Rayner,
Greensburg, Indiana, for sales post. Appointed September 1, 1957. Killed December 18, 1966, by gunshot inflicted by escapees from a Kentucky State Prison occupying a stolen car. Trooper Richard G. Brown, Lebanon, Indiana, Lafayette Post. Appointed May 1, 1955, died September 27, 1967, as a result of injuries sustained in a car truck crash on Inter Interstate 74 in Boone County. Trooper Robert O. Leadson, Westville, Indiana, Connorsville Post. Appointed August 16, 1961, killed March 30, 1969, by gunshot inflicted by a mentally deranged subject armed with a rifle who had been firing at random from a barricaded position. Sergeant George W. Campbell, Brazil, Indiana, Putnamville Post. Appointed September 1, 1950, died June 18, 1969 of a heart attack during the arrest of a truck driver who had attempted to drive by the Putnamville truck scale. Trooper John J. Strew, Logansport, Indiana, Sherrillville Post. Appointed April 16, 1970, killed February 20, 1971 by gunshot. Marshal John Larimer of St. John, Indiana, also fatally wounded as the two officers investigated two suspicious suspects behind a school building. Sergeant Glenn R. Hosier, Logansport, Indiana, Peru Post. Appointed May 1, 1955, killed April 26, 1971, by gunshot while attempting to apprehend a suspect being sought for murder in Peru, Indiana. Trooper William J. Trees, Oakland City, Indiana, Evansville Post. Appointed September 1, 1968, died June 26, 1972, in an automobile accident while pursuing a fleeing vehicle at a high rate of speed. Trooper Lawrence B. Meyer, Sellersburg, Indiana, Charlestown Post. Appointed September 1, 1968, died February 2, 1974, of a heart attack during a foot pursuit of an escaped prisoner. Trooper Lewis E. Phillips, Michigan City, Indiana, Dunes Park Post. Appointed February 27, 1973, died April 16, 1975, as a result of injury sustained in an automobile crash on US 20 when his patrol car collided with a semi-tractor trailer. Trooper Roy E. Jones, Lapel, Indiana, Pendleton Post. Appointed October 17, 1976, July, died July 3, 1979, in an automobile crash while en route to assist the Markleville Town Marshal. Trooper Robert J. Lather II, Greentown, Indiana, Peru Post. Appointed December 15, 1974, died July 6, 1982 in an automobile crash while assisting the Howard County Sheriff's Department in the pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Trooper Stephen L. Bailey, Richmond, Indiana, headquarters. Appointed November 26, 1978, died December 10, 1983 when his weapon discharged while attempting to serve a warrant in Indianapolis. Sergeant John E. Hatful, Evansville, Indiana, Evansville Post. Appointed January 28, 1973, killed April 13, 1987 by gunshot while leading the emergency response team into the residence of a suicidal subject in Posey County, Indiana. Master Trooper Michael E. Green, Thorntown, Indiana, Indianapolis Post. Appointed June 10, 1976, killed February 5, 1993 by gunshot along Interstate 65 in Marion County, Indiana. While, assist, by arresting, while arresting a person wanted on a warrant. Trooper Todd A. Berman, Delphi, Indiana, Lafayette Post. Appointed December 9, 1990, killed July 29, 1993, by gunshot while assisting the Camden Town Marshal with the arrest of a disorderly subject. Master Motor Carrier Inspector Ralph R. Reed, Jr., Plymouth, Indiana, Bremen Post. Appointed April 16, 1968, died August 3, 1995, when he was struck by a semi-tractor trailer while performing a truck inspection in Plymouth, Indiana. DNA Supervisor Kimberly 
S. Epperson, Fountaintown, Indiana, headquarters. Appointed February 4, 1985. Died November 16, 1995, in an automobile crash while en route to a training assignment at the Lowell Laboratory. Trooper Andrew P. Winsenreed, Osgood, Indiana, Versailles Post. Appointed December 4, 1994, died April 25, 1997, when he was struck by a semi-tractor tra trailer while assisting a disabled motorist along Interstate 74 in Decatur County. Senior Trooper James Patrick Bartram, Mooresville, Indiana, Putnamville Post. Appointed December 19, 1987, died March 31, 1998, of injuries sustained in a traffic crash on State Road 144 near Mooresville, Indiana. Master Trooper David A. Duder, Angola, Indiana, Toll Road Post. Appointed April 1, 1972, died July 16, 1998, when he was struck by a semi-tractor trailer while conducting a traffic stop along the Indiana Toll Road in LaGrange County. Trooper Richard T. Gaston, Indianapolis, Indiana, Toll Road Post. Appointed December 13, 1998, died March 4, 1999, when a semi-tractor trailer drove off the roadway and struck the trooper's vehicle, killing him and two people in another car. Trooper Corey R. Elson, Fort Wayne, Indiana, Fort Wayne Post. Appointed December 13, 1998, killed April 3, 1999, when a driver opened fire on him with an automatic assault rifle during a traffic stop on US 27 in Decatur, Indiana. Trooper Jason E. Beal, Shelbyville, Indiana, Bremen Post. Appointed December 13, 1998, died January 15, 2000, from injuries sustained when he was struck by a passing vehicle as he helped a wrecker operator who was pulling a car out of a ditch. Trooper Scott A. Patrick, Wheatfield, Indiana, Lowell Post. Appointed June 25 of 2000, killed December 22, 2003, when a driver opened fire on him as he approached a disabled vehicle along Interstate 80 in Lake County. Lieutenant Gary E. Dudley, Indianapolis, Indiana, headquarters. Appointed December 14, 1979, died August 22, 2006, when he was struck by a motor vehicle while participating in a bicycle ride to honor fallen police officers. Lake County Sheriff's Department Chief of Police Gary Martin also died as a result of the crash. Master Trooper David E. Rich, Wabash, Indiana, Peru Post. Appointed November 19, 1989, killed July 5, 2007, when her motorist he stopped to assist opened fire on him as he approached the disabled vehicle on US 24 in Wabash County. Trooper Daniel R. Barrett, Logansport, Indiana, Peru Post. Appointed July 8, 2007, killed January 27, 2008. While attempting to catch a speedy motorist, his car left the roadway and struck a tree on US 31. Master Motor Carrier Inspector Robert E. Pitcher, Cambridge City, Indiana, assigned to the Richmond Scales. Appointed July 11, 1988, killed September 26, 2010, while transporting power brake testing equipment on I-70 in Wayne County and lost control of his vehicle. Struck a guardrail, crossed the center line median into opposing traffic lanes, colliding with a semi-tractor trailer. These are our brother officers and fellow employees who have passed on. When they departed this life that we still enjoy, they left memories of warm friendships and of loyalty and devotion to the service. The greatest tribute in our power to pay our departed comrades is this reverent acknowledgement of our obligation to remember them. It has been said that the strength of the Indiana State Police Department lies in the character of its people. You and I will long remember the deeds of our deceased who are ever mindful of their public trust. They have set the pattern we must follow in the days 
and years to come. Thus, we who remain do reaffirm a pledge that we will continue to uphold the ideals and traditions for which they died. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand to render honors to our fallen heroes. Please take your seats. Uh, <clears throat> just a, 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 a moment of time. I heard recently at, at one of our other memorial services around the state that when we do this, we stand in the presence of the past. And I, I thought there was no better word that captures this period of time. And I so wish that everybody that, that, that serves on this agency could stand up and do what I just did and have the, the incredible honor to do what I just did to remember and say those very, very sacred names. Um, it brings it to a whole different, it's a whole different perspective by being able to say it. And I, as everybody knows, uh, we, will, we have always done this and we'll continue to do this until the human existence ceases to, to be on this earth. But I thought the standing in the presence of the past was such a, a perfect summary of what this means. And ultimately is why we're in this room so that you can actually see the per see it. You can actually see it. And um, I, I just, again, it's just a really, really, really big deal. I'm so glad that you're here, that you've taken the time to, to, to be here uh, and, and always, always, always remember. 
Carolyn Dudley, I'd stand with you anywhere, and it's just such a high honor to be able to, to, to stand up here for just a moment in time. To the distinguished guests, um, the board members, the retirees, the, the State Police Alliance, that's a continual partner uh, with us in, in all that we do. Probationary Troopers King and Bowling, wow. Thank you very, very much for, for, for sharing that. Just, uh, just an extraordinary talent that you have. Uh, Rick Hammer, who was on the bagpipes a few minutes ago, uh, retired after um, more than 40 years with the state police. Really, really proud to, to know him, and he continues to give of his time uh, to the agency that he loves so very dearly. To Corporal Poole, to Deputy Horine for the meal uh, from Hamilton County, thank you all very, very much, and to all of those that made this day so very special. Um, it can't, this can't just be a routine each year. It has to be it has to have significance and maintain a level of significance and honor and pride for us to be able to do that. And I am so very proud that it does. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain, please stand and remain standing by the benediction by Chaplain Coffee. Thank you, sir. I invite you to pray. Gracious God and Heavenly Father, having once again memorialized the names and legacy of the Indiana State Police personnel who have made the ultimate sacrifice in service of the good cause of our great state, with grateful hearts we render honor to these and all current law enforcement professionals. We beseech thy blessing upon them, their work, and their families. O light of the world, be thou their light in the dark and dreary moments. O eternal word of wisdom, instruct and guide them with thy profound counsel. O Prince of Peace, bestow thy transcendent spirit of peace in body, mind, and heart. Blessed be our God, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. O Lord, you provide for the need of all who hunger. You who multiplied the bread and turned the water into wine, as we have now secured the detail for which we have assembled, we now turn to the purpose of fostering and renewing our blessed bonds as members of the Indiana State Police family and friends. Through the sharing of this meal, bless us and these thy gifts which we receive from thy bountiful goodness. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy upon us and hear our prayer. Amen. Elder, Alex, and Cook. Dismissed.